All right, our enemy animation seems to be working pretty nicely. So now let's see if we can go ahead and get the hero to animate. So I'm going to go to my folder here and let's look at the hero images. And something that is slightly different, um, rather than just having two images for the hero, right, like the walking images, um, I also have an idle state, um, a jumping state, and, you know, a happy image, maybe. And they all need to be facing right as well as left. So um, you know, the hero is going to be just slightly more complex because there's more states that the hero can be in, right? So in this video, we'll just handle walking, jumping, and idle. All right, so I'm going to get out of the way and we'll go dig into the code here. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is I am going to make my hero an animated sprite. And so where's my an, an, anim, or my, an animated entity? So we'll just change that to animated. And we're going to set it up to take an image list rather than images. And so now I need to go to where I load my hero images. Make this window a little bit wider. Okay, and let's see, where is it? Here it is. And I'm going to just going to space it out a little bit so it's easier to see where I'm working. And so this is going to be the hero image, but now let's think about what it's, you know, what it's doing. Um, so this is going to be the hero walk, or this is going to be the hero idle images. And I forgot which way it's facing. They're all facing right to begin with, so we'll call that right. And let's see. So we'll make it a list. And I only have one idle image, so that's fine. Um, you know, maybe, you know, if you had an idle image, like multiple idle, idle images where the character's like, you know, breathing or something like that, that would, you know, be a little motion, you could put them in the list. All right, let's do some more. So we're going to do the, the hero walk images to the right and let's see walk one and walk two so we'll call that walk one and i'm going to copy that and we'll have walk two so i have I got rid of that parenthesis and i now I've got my list and we'll do the jump images this will be jump right and Jump, is that what it's called? Player jump, player jump, right? Okay, and you know, happy will save for later. Okay, so now we have to take all of these images and flip them so they're facing left. So here is a set section of flipping code. All right, so I'm gonna, so we'll do, so it's gonna be, I'll type it again. So it's, um, so we'll do hero. Idle images left is equal to, and it's um, I game dot transform dot flip, and then we'll say the image true comma false. Again, this is flip horizontally. This is flip vertically, so we're only going to flip horizontally, and then we'll say for image. Or IMG in, and I'll say hero idle images right and close the list. All right, so this is going to make a new list that is all of the images flipped to the, you know, flipped horizontally, so they'll all be facing left. And just copy that three times. And so we'll do the walk. And we'll do the jump. And so we'll do the walk images. All right. So now, now the hero is actually six. We have six different lists of images. Um, so we have the idle images. We have walking images, jumping images, um, and both right and right and left. All right. So now, all right. Now that we've got everything loaded, I'm going to run it and just make sure you know. Not, let's say hero image is not defined. Aha. Uh -huh. We got to go down to where we set. Um, where we start the level. So I'm in my start level. And where am I making? Or it's in my start game, right? So it's hero image. And instead of that, 
I have to decide what it's going to be in. And the initial state is idle because he's not running. So we'll say idle images and we'll do to the right. So this. And so now nothing changes. OK, but at least we've got the player based on a list of images. Uh, so the next thing to do is just like we did with the um, with the spike man, we need to create a set image list function, which decide, which picks an image based on the direction the character is trying to, right, is trying to move. Um, let me find my sorry, I'm all over the place here. I'm trying to find my find the right spot in my notes. And okay, so here we go. Um, all right, so this is, you know, so, so I'm going to copy this to start and um, and let's um, let's let's kind of see what happens. OK, so I'm going to go down to them in the spike man and I'm going to enemy. Let me find the hero. Here's the hero. Boom, check platform, check enemies, reach goal. I'll just do it right at the bottom. So we'll do set image list. And I'm also going to call animate. Self.animate right here. And so what should happen, let's see, self.images, let's do hero, uh, our hero underscore walk right. And here we'll do walk left. All right, so we'll, we'll just try checking the velocity. And um, it's walk images, right? Right. Okay, so, so we'll just uh, set the image list like that. And we'll see what happens. We'll just base it on velocity like we did with the. Uh... All right, so I'm going to play the game. And it's a little bit weird because. Um, you know, once the image list gets set, my player is in this walking state. And, you know, when I stop, it automatically spins around. So that's not exactly what I want. Because um, when, when I go to a stop state, I want the images to um, go back to the idle images. So let's see what we can do. All right, so let, let's see what would happen if we went L if self.vx is less than zero. And we'll set it to the images left. And then we'll say else self.images equals hero um, idle images. And this is where we're starting to run into a problem. So I'm just going to pick right and we'll see what happens here. OK. I'm going to run. Looks like it looks pretty good there. It kind of, okay, that was weird. He jumps and a little running is still happening. Um, but what, what, well, what I would like to happen is if he's if he's walking to the left, you know, he should stay facing left when he's idle. When he was walking to the right, he should stay facing right when he's idle. Um, so I'm going to take a different approach that is not based on the velocity um, to pick the image we're going to use. And instead, um, I'm going to make a a new variable in my hero and I'm just going to add self dot facing right and it'll be true when the game starts and so when I run what I'm going to do is change my move left to do to say self dot facing right is equal to false and if I try to move to the right, then I'll say self.facing right is equal to true. All right. So now we, we, we have, we're going to be able to maintain the, the direction we're facing without necessarily, um, right, without necessarily um, looking at the velocity, right? So, the, you know, it's even when we stop, we're, we're still keeping the direction we're facing. And so I'm going to go back into here, into my set image. And I'm going to change this. And I'm going to say if self.facing right. And we'll, so we'll say LF 
self dot facing. Right, facing left. And actually I can just say else. Right? You're all you're always facing right or you're facing left. And so this is a different way of handling um, basically the same thing. Only now, all right, let's let's run this. And it looks like it's good, except for that I keep running. But now we now we do have a way to look at the velocity. So what I can do is I can say if self.vx is not equal to zero. Then we'll do the, the walk images, else self dot, else we'll say self dot images equals hero idle images right. And so we'll down here, we'll do the same thing right here. We'll say if self dot vx is not equal to zero, Okay, we'll do the walk images, and otherwise, we'll do the um, idle images, and idle images left. All right, and I think I'm going to change one more thing on that. Okay, so, so here we go, and I stop, and I go to idle, and I'm in the right direction. Okay, so that all looks good. Um, I guess something I kind of don't like here, now I just realized this, um, I, I hate testing for not equals because then you start talking to yourself in double negatives. So I'm just going to make these equals and I'm going to change this to idle and this to walk. And this should be idle. Right. And this should be walk. All right. So that's a little bit. All right. I, I think, I think avoiding talking about things like as being not true is, is a good idea. All right, so let's see, make sure it still works, looks good. So the only thing we have now that's going on that's weird is, you know, when we're running and jumping, we get, you know, our feet are still going. And if I jump straight up, I go into my idle phase when I'm falling and then I run. So that's a little bit weird. So what we need, what we need is another way to detect, hey, you know, are, are we jumping? Okay, so let's say Okay, so I'm going to go to my hero now, and all right, all right, so what I'm going to do is make another variable that's, we'll do self.jumping, and that's equal to false when the game starts, and when we jump, we'll just add something in here. This is the place where we allowed the jumps. So I'll say, okay, this would be a great place to say self.jumping is equal to true. Okay, so once we jump, we, we, we've got ourselves in another another state, and um, the jumping state should override what happens with the velocity. That's the most important one. So if you're jumping, it should be a jumping image over everything else. So let's. I'm going to go to the front and I'll say, if self dot jumping. I'll make this an elif, and we'll say self dot images equals hero jump images right, and I'll kind of copy that same block down here, and I'll make that an elif. Okay, these all we have to make sure that's an if elif else because we should only go down one branch in either case, and this is going to be the jumping left. So let's run this. This is looks good, looks good, looks great when I jump. And oh no, I'm stuck, right? I'm stuck in the jumping in the jumping stage. Um, so the last thing I need to do is figure out a way um, to find out if I am actually right, if I am actually on the ground. And so um, we are already checking. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we are we are checking the platforms um, every iteration of the game loop, and let's see, move and check platforms, and and here's the part where we move in the y direction, and we nudge ourselves 
you know, and this is where we're doing the up or down motion. Let's see if the self dot VY is greater than zero. This is where we're moving down. And this is the place where we have decided if we have hit something. And so what I'm going to do, let's say self dot jumping equals false right here. I think this is where we have landed on a platform. And so we're no longer jumping. And so we'll run around, I'll jump up in the air, and I land on the bottom. Right. And yeah, there we go. All right, so let's see. That look, look, looking good. All right, I think that does it uh, for this video. Now, I, I will keep keep this in mind that um, uh, I guess doesn't quite do it for the video yet. I'm still talking, but uh, you know, this is maybe not a definite. Hey, you have to do it this way sort of video. Um, I just want you to understand that this set image list you know, function is what you're going to use to choose the image list. And really it depends on, you know, the whole set of images you have um, for, for your character um, that'll decide how this is structured. And you'll have to decide, does the jumping image matter? You know, should jumping the state image override any other state of uh, those, those sort of things, all right? Um, so I, I'll call this like a technique video more than a absolutely have to follow. Um, you know, to the letter sort of video. All right. Um, so that's it for this video. And I guess I'm getting, you know, close to the end of this whole series here. Uh, so I hope you're liking it and let me know if you have any questions.